Understanding the different types of fault code statuses can be challenging. But don't worry, in today's tech tip, we'll explain the differences between each to help you better assess the vehicle. During their diagnostic process, technicians will examine all the faults in the fault grid and notice an associated status with each fault, such as active or inactive. Understanding these statuses can help technicians troubleshoot issues and recognize the necessary procedures before attempting to clear the code. Let's take a look at what each of these fault statuses means. Active faults are problems currently occurring within the system. They often trigger warning lights or notifications that indicate when further action is necessary. Although you can clear active faults with the diagnostic tool, that doesn't mean you should. If the root cause of the code hasn't been corrected, the active code will likely reappear. Inactive faults are faults that were once seen as active, but the criteria needed to trigger that fault are no longer present. However, they are sorted in the system's history for reference and can help diagnose recurring issues. Now, we have emissions inactive faults, which indicate that a fault was previously active with an emissions-related diagnostic trouble code. Faults with this state will no longer illuminate the malfunction indicator lamp, MIL. Now, let's move on to pending faults. Pending faults are issues that the system has detected but has not confirmed. Consider pending faults as a warning that an issue may occur if not addressed. And finally, there are permanent faults. Permanent faults are more serious as they cannot be cleared. This is because the onboard diagnostic monitor that detected the malfunction must confirm that the issue has been resolved, which typically requires meeting the code clearing criteria. Code clearing criteria can be found in the overview section in fault guidance or OE service literature. Once you have fixed the issue and the onboard diagnostic monitor has accepted that the problem is resolved, the fault can be cleared. For more details about each fault status type, open Data Monitor in JPro, then click the Fault Status Assistance button.